Huawei nailed the night photography scene with their P30 Pro. Samsung has been hard at work ever since to catch up and came up with their own night mode in S10 earlier and now in the Note 10 line. I put my Note 10 Plus against the P30 Pro to see which of these phones clicks better low light pictures. So let's check it out. So I started right at the point when sun started to go down. Right off the bat, both of these cameras showed very interesting results. In isolation, both of these cameras were clicking some really good pictures. The image processing was good, sharpness was on point, color reproduction was also pretty okay. However, on Huawei P30 Pro, I noticed the pictures had kind of warm tone to them and Note 10 Plus continued to showcase its powerful high dynamic range. For example, in this shot, you can actually see how the color of the sky is changing from the horizon all the way to the top. Even between these trees, you can see how the color of the sky is showcasing as blue. However, the picture clicked from Huawei's P30 Pro, the color of the sky is completely blown out and lost. The same examples continued in multiple pictures. Huawei P30 Pro's pictures were brighter and slightly warm in tone and Samsung's Note 10 Plus continued to produce great photos with its powerful HDR. Although Huawei's P30 Pro captured texture better and showed better sharpness overall. But when it came to color reproduction and distinguishing different shades of the same color in one picture, I would say Note 10 Plus was doing a great job here. Whether it was the main white sensor or the ultra white sensor, it was pretty evident that Note 10 Plus high dynamic range was really helping in producing some interesting results. And Huawei's P30 Pro continued to suffer from its excessively warm tone in their pictures. Now both of these cameras have a depth sensor, so I thought it'll be interesting to see how the portrait photos come out. Now both of these pictures were taken from the exact same position. You see how Note 10 Plus actually crops the shot and zooms in the subject a lot more than Huawei's P30 Pro. The edge detection is pretty okay on both of these phones. I cannot complain on that part. Similar situation occurred in selfies as well, where Samsung's Note 10 Plus cropped the picture and Huawei's P30 Pro captured more of the scene around the subject. Barring the warm color tone, everything is better on Huawei's P30 Pro output here. So if you take a lot of selfies, I think Huawei's P30 Pro would be a better choice here. Now this was the time when sun had completely set. We were in the twilight zone and natural light was pretty low and the lights in the park had come up. How beautifully the colors have come out on Note 10 Plus. This was pretty much close to the actual scene that I could see from my naked eye. However, on Huawei's P30 Pro, the color palette was completely different than what it actually was. Irrespective, both of these cameras were producing pretty good results whether it's about minimizing the shadows or capturing detail in the scene. Both of these phones were producing pretty great results. When we were walking into the night, sun had completely set and night was about to take over. Color reproduction on both the phones was pretty close to each other. Huawei's P30 Pro continued to show more sharpness in the pictures and Samsung's Note 10 Plus had much better color palette in the pictures. However, when you put them side by side, it is impossible to miss that Huawei's P30 Pro had slightly warmer tones to the picture. Although in isolation, you would never notice this. The sharpness, the low noise and the detail captured by Huawei's P30 Pro makes up for the slightly off color palette. If you had decent light, both of these cameras performed pretty great, barring a few examples when Note 10 Plus controlled exposure better and managed to produce some great color reproduction. The output was pretty great from all angles, whether you were far away from the subject or you zoom in, except when you go beyond the 2x optical zoom, because this is where Huawei's P30 Pro has an advantage. Yes, the picture from Huawei's P30 Pro may not be as bright as the one from Samsung's Note 10 Plus, but yet if you see, the output is pretty sharp and the Note 10 Plus's output is pretty blurred. But that's only in the zoom scenarios. Because when Samsung loses at the zoom front, it actually makes up at the wide angle front. The wide angle output in the night mode was much better with Samsung's Note 10 Plus. Although I noticed a peculiar problem with Samsung's Note 10 Plus output. In almost all the pictures that I clicked, there was some sort of light blowout around the bright objects in the images. Like in this one, you see the top of this building is so blown out in the picture produced by Samsung's Note 10 Plus. It is much more controlled in Huawei's P30 Pro's output. If you've seen my previous videos, you would know that we have already established that Huawei's P30 Pro captures more detail and takes much more brighter shots compared to any other camera. So darker the scene, more impressed you will be with Huawei's P30 Pro's camera, as it continues to capture much brighter images even in very low light conditions. Like in this scene for example, the overall scene is slightly dim on Samsung's Note 10 Plus 
but on Huawei's P30 Pro's output, you can actually see this part of the tree, which is not visible in Samsung's Note 10 Plus's output. I kept challenging these cameras' night modes and went towards more challenging scenes. For example, this one. This was a waterfall. So what happens when you click a picture in the night mode, the cameras capture multiple images at multiple intervals and combines them to come up with one single image which has a maximum detail possible. And there's shutter speed also at play here. So you see here how there is this smooth flow of water in Samsung's Note 10 Plus, but you can actually see some sort of water texture in Huawei's P30 Pro. Well, I would say that for your social media needs, the picture taken from Samsung's Note 10 Plus looks much better because it's much more dramatic compared to Huawei's P30 Pro's out. But this kind of image processing becomes a problem when you're trying to capture some moving objects. Like this boat, for example. Both of these pictures were clicked in the night mode. And you can see on Samsung's Note 10 Plus, the boat is completely blurred. But you can see the output from Huawei's P30 Pro is much sharper and has better detail. So I thought, let me just turn off the night mode and try to capture this image. So I turned the night mode off and switched the AI off on both the phones to see how will the scene differentiate. I was lucky that the boat was turning around and coming back. So the scene actually improved on both of the cameras. There was absolutely no blur at all on Huawei's P30 Pro. Which the output from Samsung's Note 10 Plus also improved drastically. I can still see some small amount of blur there. Other example was this. Now everything is looking great on both the pictures. Huawei's P30 Pro has crisp sharpness in low light and Samsung's Note 10 Plus has much more natural picture. However, if you notice that these plants in the foreground, you will notice that the plant in the Note 10 Plus is actually blurred. But the plant in the Huawei's P30 Pro is actually sharp and in focus completely. Now this is because the plant was actually moving because of the wind. But all's not lost for Samsung's Note 10 Plus. When Samsung's Note 10 Plus continued to produce great result when we had support from the daylight, the same thing continued even in the night. You see here in this image, you see how Samsung's Note 10 Plus was able to capture multiple colors in the scene. Or in this picture where Samsung's Note 10 Plus has eliminated the shadows better. It is not an over brightened picture but it just captures more detail in the darker areas. Now another great win that comes in direction of Samsung's Note 10 Plus is the skin tones. This is a selfie that I took from both the phones. Yes, Samsung crops the picture and you lose some detail around the subject. But you see the skin tone is slightly better on Samsung's Note 10 Plus. And when you turn the camera around and use the main camera to click pictures, pictures taken from Samsung's Note 10 Plus are much sharper and look more natural. And Huawei's P30 Pro could not even handle the exposure better. I would say Samsung has really improved the main camera. And only thing that remains for them to improve is their selfie camera. So I think except the selfies and really dark scenes, Samsung's Note 10 Plus has a quite capable camera. Huawei's P30 Pro by no means is far behind. But in today's time, I think Samsung Note 10 Plus takes the cake since it captures much more balanced daylight pictures, has much better color reproduction overall, and the skin tones are way better on Samsung's main camera. What do you think about this video? Tell me in the comments and hit a thumbs up if you like. Thank you for watching guys. Cheers.